Hi guys, it's Hatch One One O. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. I'm really excited to be reviewing for you today the brand new fragrance to come from Etat Libre d'Orange. It is called I Am Trash. Also, it's called Les Fleurs du Dachette. And my French co-worker tells me it basically means flowers of waste or wasted flowers or flowers for the bin, like garbagey type things. So yeah, I was really excited when I heard that this was coming out. I heard about it sometime in spring, I think. And I was like, wow, this is going to be so cool. A flower, a, a fragrance made out of rotted flowers, all of that kind of stuff. It's not that at all. But let me tell you about it before I start rambling on. So the advert for this, or the, the promo video for this, as with Atali Badarange, they always have really, really good marketing. Um, Sometimes to the point where I think it supersedes the fragrance, but that's just a tiny negative that I wanted to say. I do really like them. I do think that, just side note, sorry, I've got quite a bit to say. If you have never delved into niche perfumery before, I think Etat Libre d'Orange are a really good jump off point. Just a little tip there. If you've never thought, or you're thinking, gosh, where do I start with niche? I think Etat Libre d'Orange are really good because they have a range of things ranging from super, super friendly, right up to, wow, this is so bizarre, and everything in between. So their range is really diverse, and it kind of can lead you into niche, I think. They're a really good one, I just wanted to say that. But anyway, this fragrance, I Am Trash, there, I was expecting writing flowers, something edgy, something weird, then I realized that's not what this is about. This fragrance is a message. This fragrance, what's behind it is so much more important than what's in it. And this is different from any review I've ever done because the message is really important and this is what it is. Three companies teamed up to make this. Atali Boudarange, Givaudan, really big perfume company, and one called, I wrote it down, Oglivy, to make a statement about the planet, about global warming, about throwing things away, about landfill sites, all of that kind of stuff, saying don't throw stuff away before it's necessary, I guess. So they have made the fragrance out of everything that they would normally discard. Very cool concept, very interesting, save the planet, I'm all about that. I think it's so, so cool. So it makes it better that it's not what I was expecting to smell because I did want rotting flowers. The video had all of this rotting fruit and maggots and worms in bins and I just thought, wow, this is going to be so cool. Anyway, it turns out the fragrance is made out of things that would have been thrown away. Awesome. So what are the notes? The notes are, interestingly enough, Rose Neo Absolute, which they make from the already pressed rose petals. They have squeezed them again and managed to create something to put in a fragrance. They have made an apple note, there's an apple note in here from um, apple puree, which is a byproduct of apple juice. So rather than just throwing the puree away, they squeezed it again and got more apple juice out of it. It's just awesome, it's a really good idea. Uh, they have got a cedarwood note in this, which they have created from the sawdust of cedarwood, which they would have already pressed for their main cedarwood oil. So once it's been pressed, they're squeezing it again. Yeah, that's what they've been doing. And the uh, HQ at our Libre d'Orange. There is something called Sandalore, which is upcycled. There's Akigala wood, which I don't know how they've made that one, but they used Akigala wood in their previous release, which was called Un Amaret. What it is, is fractioned patchouli. It's a woody note which kind of feels rough and a little bit incensey to me. It's like a byproduct of patchouli, I guess, um, or it's an element of patchouli. And then it's got Isoe Super, which again is upcycled, so they say. So, how does it smell? So, I've worn this a few times. It's not what I expected, like I said, but uh, now that I know what it's about, I really appreciate it. So. On a scale of Atali Badarange in terms of Secretions Magnifique and Rien or Rien being the weirdest, and then say Remarkable People and Yes I Do being the friendliest, this one sits right at the bottom in terms of how wearable it is. This smells juicy when you first put it on. It smells mainly of juicy citruses, a juicy apple note, and then a really nice rose. It's not an obvious, obvious rose 
but the rose in here is really delicate, kind of open, light. It's not a jammy, thick rose or a powdery one. It kind of slots right in. So it's like a rosy apple, basically. It's really lovely. It does kind of have that, I guess you could call it maybe shampoo-y type thing that's kind of delicious. And I think this would be really nice in summer. It's a citrusy, rosy apple at first. That's what I mainly get. And I really like it for that. I think it's friendly. I think it will sell. I think it will appeal to a lot of people. You can pick it up and just spritz it on and go. There's nothing scary in here compared to some of the things that they make. It's crazy to smell this and think that this is this perfume is made from what it's made from. I really like it. It's like it feels super green and not in the way it smells. It just feels like it's doing something good, even if it's a small change. The message they're sending should make a big change, I hope. So it stays like that for about 15 minutes. It's, it's bright, it's citrusy, it's juicy. But then what starts to happen is, holy moly, lost my battery halfway through the video. Oh gosh, what was I saying? What I was saying was when it starts to dry, this is where something a tiny bit weird does actually start to reveal itself. What happens is all of the stuff that was kind of juicy and pretty and stuff at the beginning disappears and there is something that feels woody that comes out of it but also it's almost a bit buttery and a slightly bit dirty and it's really hard to pinpoint what that is but it's dry here but this is where I can start to feel that it is actually made out of what they say it's made out of it's like the edge of the crispness of perfect ingredients isn't there. It's, it feels like it's got a little bit more weight. It was really bright and kind of open in the beginning, but then it starts to go... Do you know what I'm going to say? That they mention something about Secretions Magnifique in their description. They say something like this is before the journey or the the journey to Secretions Magnifique, which is their most notorious fragrance. Notorious! And if I, at a stretch, I can actually feel that, yes, there is something a tiny bit, like the smallest speck of something Secretions Magnifique in there, but it's not by any means as unpleasant as that fragrance at all. But I think here is where it loses a lot of the appeal that it had in the opening. I wish it kind of stayed like that a lot more. It does get to this stage quite quickly. Um, it's actually here as well. It becomes super close to skin. Um, I can barely smell it. I only sprayed this on my skin an hour ago. And it's really quiet. It's one that I personally feel like I would have to refresh, refresh, refresh in order to get that really nice rosy apple citrus opening. The dry down leaves a lot to be desired for me. and. While I really like the message, I think that the second half of the fragrance really fails. It's a shame because I love what it's about. But where are you? I can hardly smell it on my arm here and I put three sprays here earlier. I actually sprayed this after I sprayed it on my hand and I can smell this less. So yeah, I'm not sure. The dry down loses anything rosy, anything citrusy, anything apple -y. and what reveals is a somewhat buttery woodiness that is really hard to describe because it's kind of nondescript and it's ever so slightly a little bit dirty and now that light's gone as well I think I'm going to leave this review here anyway that is all I'm going to say about the brand new fragrance from Natalie Boudorange love the idea I'm just not sure about the entirety of the fragrance anyway I'm out from my know Click my logo down there to subscribe or the subscribe button and I will see you guys soon for another video. I'm going to try and fix this mess out right now. Anyway, goodbye.